Okay. Do 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 do. No, this is not a conspiracy video. Um, actually, I'm not a conspiracy theorist at all. <laughs> I don't even like people that are conspiracy theorists. Um, there are a lot of stupid choices out there. Uh, things that people do, including big businesses, like uh, when Coca-Cola uh, decided to change its recipe, and uh, <laughs> other things that large companies do. Um, I saw this coming. I was, of course, 100% right, as is usual. One of the byproducts of being a chess champ in high school and college. Yeah, yeah, that's me tooting my own horn. Lenses are getting worse. What the hell does that mean? I can't be true because lenses are sharper now than they were 30 years ago. And, and, and then they got less chromatic aberration. That is specifically true. However, is anybody that uh, knows a lot about lenses, of which there are about that many people, people that have actually owned well, well over a thousand lenses and uh, used to work in camera stores and got to test anything and everything, will tell you that there are many attributes of a lens that are incredibly important. Sharpness is one of them. The lens that has made the most money for uh, anybody, more so than anything else, is a 24-70 2.8-nit core, which was just redesigned, by the way, which is good news, because if you want the old one, which isn't really old at all, it's cheaper, and it's going to probably get a little bit cheaper, and then it's going to hover there for a long time. And then they're probably going to stop making it, maybe. Why are lenses getting worse? Um, uh, the newer ones are obviously more expensive, but to me it has nothing to do with money. I mean, right here is $2,500 worth of glass. A couple of Zeises. If multiples would be Zeises, I guess, right? Or Zeuses. <laughs> uh, why are lenses getting worse? Well, as stated, sharpness has increased over the past 30 years. However, as is the case, like a few of the lenses that I've recommended that are 30 years old, I mean, I have had so many tens of thousands of positive feedback. Oh my god, this old damn manual focus lens is just a, it's just a cat's ass. I mean, it's better than my uh, current, you know, 50 to 135 or whatever sort of uh, crappy uh, zoom kit lens that someone got with their camera. It's oh, so much better. I mean, how on earth? You know, the color, the saturation, the depth, the sharp, I mean, how is this old, old lens so much better than a new lens? Well, because the new lenses try to be all things to all people. But that's a zoom. Let's just talk about primes. Why are prime lenses getting worse? It is because of exactly what I told you. Now, before they rolled out the new 24-70 2.8 Nikkor, which is extremely heavy and has a lot more glass in it, and it has vibration reduction. Hooray! Vibration reduction! However, professionals have been getting along using that lens for years now with vibration reduction. It damn well didn't need it, but that's not what made the lens worse. What made it worse, and why it's being redesigned, and yes, I'm getting to the damn point here, and why the, the current the new Zeiss lenses, the Milvis line, suck. And yeah, I have tested the 85 Milvis and the 50 Milvis. They suck. And uh, I don't care if you believe me or not, they suck. And you can uh, compare, like, uh, the uh, Planar 85mm f1.4 here. Uh, with the, the new uh, Milvis 85 mil, uh, 85mm, which this one's uh, $1,100 and that one's $1,600, so $500 difference, but price doesn't make any difference. Why does it suck? It reminds me actually of a cheap Sigma art lens, the output. Uh, sharp, but very crappy. Um, the reason is the inclusion of aspherical elements and additional elements. Now, most people know this, a lot of people don't. Every lens, no matter how cheap, how expensive it is, has a center point of brightness, okay? Now, brightness falls off towards the edges, and so does sharpness, no matter how expensive the lens is. Okay. Some people cherish sharpness over anything else. And, you know, there are valid concerns for that. You know, some people absolutely can't stand vignetting, even though every lens vignettes. It's the only to the degree to which it vignettes. But the new breed of full-frame sensors that are rolling out, Canon's already rolled out their 5D 50 megapixel. It's a full-frame sensor with DX pixel pitch. And to get really good um, vignetting, meaning lack thereof, and good corner-to-corner -corner sharpness, the lenses are being redesigned. Okay? 
Uh, Nikon ruled theirs out, and exactly what I told you would be the case is exactly the case. The reviews are rolling out now that it's out there and in the hands of a few thousand people, and it's 100% exactly what the hell I told you it would be. Uh, not as sharp, still, you know, a relatively sharp lens, and got better to corner to corner, but it's a big honking lens with a lot more glass in it. It's a worse performer. It is a worse performer. Um, someone else, it's like the Camera Store, which is a huge YouTube channel, recently called it uh, the worst lens of the year, and it's exactly what I told you it would be. It's not because uh, there are a bunch of idiots working at Nikon, well actually there are, um, is they are rolling out what Canon already rolled out, and they have to, that is their flagship lens. I told all of you this months and months and months ago. They're rolling out their flagship uh, camera next year. It's probably going to be like a D850 or who knows what the hell they're going to call it. And maybe another one. Um, probably only one to start with. But it's going to be exactly like Canon. And they had to redesign that flagship lens because that's their money maker. To get really good corner to corner and get, it, get really good specs on vignetting and corner to corner sharpness, they had to redesign that lens by adding a lot more damn glass. Now, you see this uh, $1,100 Carl Zeiss 85mm planar with six elements in it? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh my god, the new planar, I mean, not the new planar, the new Milvis. 85 millimeter. Now, forgetting about the fact that I hate the ergos on the Milvis, which doesn't mean anything as far as output of the lens, and the fact that they put a rubber grip on the thing, which will deteriorate with hand oils, that doesn't mean much anyway. You know, ask yourself, why do you think that they added five more elements into that lens? Oh, yes, that is why. Here's what you will not see on any other photography channel or in any other. Uh, any other um, photography magazine, which are nothing but advertisements anyway, here is a fact. Now, I don't give a damn whether you believe me or not, but it is a damn fact. Zeiss rolled out that Milvis line to accommodate the new Canon and the new Nikon um, full-frame sensors with DX pixel pitches. Okay, that is what they're designed for. That is why, not the ergonomics, you know, that's an artistic change, you know. That doesn't really mean anything. This does look kind of blocky. I mean, it's not perfectly aesthetic, but who gives a damn about that? Um, it's got a lot more glass in it. And uh, while all those uh, additional aspherical and ED elements uh, uh, spread out the light and give it better corner-to-corner -corner sharpness and uh, better corner-to-corner -corner, uh, better vignetting, meaning lack thereof, it actually changes the nature of the lens. So you can't do anything in lens design without affecting something else. Lenses are always more than the sum of their parts. Always. You know, it's like so you have a dead body. It's, uh, you know, you, you sew it back together like Frankenstein. Well, it's like, why isn't it moving? Well, it's because a body is more than the constituent uh, addition of all its parts in totality. And that is exactly the day. And any lens designer will tell you this if you ever meet one. He'll say, yeah, that fat tattooed asshole, he's actually right about that. They'll confirm to you exactly what I said. So this is why, now, I, there's a hate site, which I think is funny. I don't give a damn if there's a hate site about me. But other people have actually scoffed at this too, and I mentioned it. That lenses are actually getting worse. Worse! Are they sharper than they were 30 years ago? In many instances, yes. However, we're talking about primes now only, not zoom lenses, okay? Zoom lenses have also gotten better, but... Uh, and so have primes, you know, lacrochromatic aberration. Uh, really, as far as lens technology, and this is a hardcore fact, nothing really, 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 really important has changed in 25 years. Yes, the same technology now is about 98% exactly the same as it was 25 years ago. You don't believe that? I don't give a damn. It's a hardcore fact. But lenses are being redesigned for the new breed of camera sensors. And... Ancillary to that fact, they are getting worse. You can compare this planar 85mm to the new Milvis 85mm, which has got five more elements in it. It looks soft, it's cyan shifted, it's not as sharp. I mean, it's, it is a sharp lens. And someone that doesn't know any better will pick that lens up, the new Milvis, and go, Oh my god, this lens is awesome! And I look at them and I go, you know, what the hell is your perspective to be able to tell you, you know, tell me or anybody that, you know, you, you, you're certain that that is an awesome lens. What is your spectrum of a bloody experience? 
And uh, this is the nature of it. It's, it's factual. It's logical. It's sensible. It's exactly why these lenses are getting worse. They have to be redesigned to accommodate the new breed of sensors. Every company, Canon, uh, Sony, and Nikon, they all got to roll out new crap every few years. A little bit of new technology here, a little bit of new technology there. Well, to accommodate that new technology that they're going to make you want to lust after, and that's exactly what their whole uh, blood, sweat, and tears is based upon, is making you lust after crap you don't need, is that they had to also redesign the lenses. Uh, they, uh, they collaborate with each other. That's not a conspiracy. They do that ahead of time. I know this for a fact, that uh, Nikon was in contact with Zeiss years ago, and saying, look, you know, you know we're all rolling out, yeah, we know we're rolling out the new, you know, so you're going to have to start building a new lens that has better corner to corner, and then the folks at Zeiss, this is exactly what's going on behind closed doors, we're going to have to add an aspherical element, two more ED elements, and then another ED element back here, so it went, the six element lens went, same, uh, same speed, f1.4, Six element lens went to an 11 element lens. And that's to accommodate that. Deny it, you cannot. Believe me or not, I don't care. I'm still right. You can't deny it. I'm not wrong. I'm 100% right. And this is exactly why the logic, the reason why lenses are getting worse. In general, of course, they've gotten better over the past 30 years. But now things are going like this. Does that mean that they're horrible output? No. It means that they're worse than this. Well, I'm going to make a lens that's bigger that has five more elements in it. It's going to cost $500 more, but it is going to look worse. The output from that lens, the Milvis, is going to look worse than this. And by a good little bit, too. You don't take my, my uh, you know, don't take my word for it. Go, go uh, check out some sample shots. They're cyan shifted. They're soft. They're not saturated. Glass ruins light, okay? Glass is necessary to focus that light, but you add too much glass, it ruins the light. You add too much ED glass, it really ruins the light. You add some aspherical glass, it also wrecks the light. Now, sharpness is one thing. Like I said, anything you change in a lens is going to affect a lot of other things. Because lens, people are so stupid, and, and I'm sorry to say this, there's, they think, well, how sharp is it? How sharp is it? How sharp is it? Rock, rock, how sharp is it? How sharp? You know, any professional will tell you this that knows a lot about lenses. Sharpness ain't everything. Color saturation, micro contrast, vignetting. There are a lot of factors and attributes of a lens that are very, very important. And sharpness is one of them. So, anyway. I hope you got the point. Did I repeat myself? Yeah, I did. But you will have heard it here first and nowhere else. And uh, God knows how long it'll take before anybody catches. It'll probably be like two or three years before somebody catches on. It's like, I, I know why they, they changed all these lenses. It's because this new breed of sensors. Like, yeah, you know that fat, tattooed, bald idiot? He was telling you that two years ago. Oh, yeah, you're right. I remember that schmuck. <laughs> <laughs> if you like this video, you can drop me a buck or two. Go tell me to jump off a cliff. Whatever makes you most happy. Bye!